Hi guys, welcome back to New Dram Drinker. Bit of a different setup today. A bit more relaxed, I thought. We're not in the bar, we're sitting in my kitchen. I'm in an armchair. Ant's not around today, so it's just me and you. Today, I'm going to be having a little uh, look at Bimbat Peated Cask. Watch this little video and then I'll get back to you. So as you saw, Bimba peated cask. Bimba have released loads just recently and you, probably like us, can't afford them all. We would love them all on our bar, but you have to pick and choose, don't you? So we bought this one because we think both Ant and I would enjoy this one. So let's start off with looking at the bottle. So classic Bimba bottle, very elegant very classy we love this bit this bit of uh, glass at the bottom it gives it a bit of height i just think it's simple but it's beautiful i love the gold accents they've got them all the way through it's just lovely it's just it feels like a really nice quality there's a nice bit of embossing in the middle you'd know it was a bimba even if you couldn't read the the label really lovely So the colour for me, look how clear that is. It's like a beautiful clear golden colour. Do you know what it reminded me of? You know when, if you're a photographer, there's a thing called the golden hour. It's sort of like dusk, five o'clock-ish, and you get that lovely golden hue on your photos. That's what I thought the first time I saw this. It's just beautiful. It's almost like a cornfield, isn't it? Just that lovely warm golden colour. I really like it. Nice legs as well. Um, I'm guessing it's quite a new whiskey, so I'm thinking the legs are because of the high ABV. They're quite long, they're nice and slow, beautiful, completely covering my glass. So, onto the nose. This is probably my favourite part of drinking a whiskey. I always get that feeling of, am I going to want to drink this or not from the nose? I've had a dram already of this, so I've been putting some notes down. The first thing I got from this instantly, and I'm getting it now, is just caramel brown sugars. It's like that lovely warm, it's not quite toffee, it is the caramel. It's just really, really lovely. You know it's a high ABV. I can smell the spirit, it tickles my nose but it is not too strong you know i've had lesser whiskies that just make me go oh too much spirit it's not like that it is strong but it's okay if that makes sense there's a lovely sort of back aroma of i want to class them as white fruits i don't know if that's a thing you know the melons the grapes it's almost kind of tropical but not tropical So you've got those two different elements going on, the sugars, the caramels, and then the fruit. But the fruits are really soft. It's like really, really nice. Just not like mouth-wateringly. It's not like the red fruits or the raisins. It's just this lovely little freshness. I have to tell you as well, the first round that I poured of this, because obviously it was the neck pour, so I let it sit for about 10 minutes. I didn't get an awful lot. I really didn't. So I let it sit a bit longer and a bit longer and then it opens up and then I got all the fruits and then I got the freshness and it was almost like this subtle soft really lovely bit it gets fruitier and fruitier the more that you nose it yeah not overly sweet and there is no hint for me 
of peat or smoke or anything, not getting any of that. It's just the nice caramels, the brown sugars, and then like those soft, subtle white fruits. One little takeaway for you. Um, I read this recently. I dipped my finger in the whiskey and rubbed it on the inside of my wrist. And then when I smelt it, I got a massive, massive hit of germaline. Now, if you're not in the UK and you don't know what that is, it's like an antiseptic cream. Um, it's a bit like plasters, you know, fabric plasters that you put. I got the most hugest smell of that. I didn't, I can't get it in the glass at all, but on my wrist, I really did get it. But that was the only sort of almost hint of an isla tang. Yeah. Definitely the tropicals. I'm thinking grapes, melons, a bit of pineapple maybe. Let me see if I've missed anything. Oh, oak. I'm not getting that so much now, but before I did write down oak, a bit of wood. Yeah, it feels really nice. There's two different sort of elements going on, but it uh, makes me want to drink it. I am so ready to taste this. Let's go in. So two things instantly hit me. Wood, you get that wood, oak, you know, all those kind of like fresh notes and cigar smoke, that's what I'm getting. It's like, not that I've ever done this, it's like I've licked an unlit cigar. So not necessarily the lit smoke cigar. It's almost like, you know, the leaves, cigar leaves, you know, you can smell like tobacco, that kind of thing. That's what I'm instantly getting. The fruits that I, would get, I was getting on the nose, they're not there so much now. That is the first flavor that you get. And it's not unpleasant, which sounds really weird, but it's not. The oak tastes nice and soft, really just like a lovely warm wood. And the cigar smoke type uh, leaves, really nice. The other thing that I wrote down, I was just looking, when I sat with this before, I had this tang and I thought, what is that taste? I've tasted that before. And then I realized, Bimba new make. I think all Bimba whiskies seem to have this little taste, this underlying taste. And I think it's their new make, probably because they're all relatively new whiskies, aren't they? But there's a taste and as soon as you taste it, you go, that's Bimba new make. That's exactly what it is. But it's not unpleasant, it's not harsh. Considering it's a 54% um, ABV, that is an easy drink to drink. It's uh, nice, nicely warming. Yeah, the spices are really coming through now. So it's not like there's a little, lovely little tingle on my tongue, but it's almost just like those warm spices. It's not like hot pepper, things like that. It might be cinnamon, I don't know, or cloves. It's just that warm little undertone. It's a really warm whiskey, if that makes sense. The flavors, all, they almost make me think of autumn. You know, all that. It's like wood, smoke, leaves, spices, maybe like Halloween, autumn -y, those kind of things. Let's just think, what else did I write on my notes? No, that's pretty much it. It is the cigar. It's not like a bonfire, it's not a barbecue. There is no peat there for me at all, which I suppose this is the difference between, they're not, it's not a peated whiskey, is it? It's a peated cask. So there's a difference there. But I'm just getting, it is a really nice, like my dad used to smoke cigars when I was little, and it's almost like that's making me think of that, like that warm tobacco. That's what I'm getting, the tobacco taste. Have I missed anything that I wrote earlier? No, I think that's pretty much it. It's definitely not sweet, so all those fruits have almost disappeared. But it feels like, even though it's probably a young whiskey, it does feel balanced. It's not overly complex. It's interesting. You know, one of those whiskies that you think, oh, I think I could probably sit with this. I could have a another dram and another dram and just like decipher it. And maybe each time I'll get something new. So yeah, it's a, uh, there's quite a lot going on in here, um, but it all it all flows, it all feels really nice, smooth, I know people hate that word, but it's not harsh, there's a lovely sort of balanced flow to it all. It's really nice, good. So 
So the finish for me, once the initial flavours have gone, is quite hefty. You get this huge sort of flavoursome leaves, you get the the wet earth, it's almost like that vegetal, if that's a word, state. But there's no peat, there's no smoke. It's almost like one of my favourite words is petrichor, which means the earth after it's rained. You know, you get that smell and that damp, foresty sort of taste and smell. That's what I'm thinking, like the autumn flavours. I'm getting a bit of wet cardboard as well, which I've, I always liken to. I think that's the malt. I'm not quite sure, but I think it is wet cardboard. Yeah, but the, the finish, it's not hugely long, but I feel like it's hefty at the beginning and then it kind of disappears. And now I just need to award the Bimba Peated Cask. Previously, we have done gold, silver, bronze awards, um, but we've had a little chat and we've decided we don't do that anymore because we want you to buy whiskey based on our notes, our reviews, how we feel about it not what rating we're giving it because we don't feel qualified to do that to be honest so we have decided to come up with an award system based on how we feel about this whiskey so today's whiskey i feel is a sit and savor award i would like to spend more time with this whiskey i've enjoyed drinking this whiskey every time i drink it i get something different it's one of those interesting whiskies that's got a lot going on but you just need to take the time to drink it Thank you for watching my video and I hope you really enjoyed it. If you would like to become one of our certified originals, all the information is following. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, ring that bell so you get notifications of when our videos are coming up. So uh, see you soon. Pour it, drink it, enjoy it.